In order to best optimize site speed with Ezoic, the following steps should be completed in order to ensure the fastest possible site speed. Firstly, you must be either Name Server or Cloudflare integrated. If you're currently WordPress integrated, you can easily switch to Cloudflare or Name Server integration. Simply go through the proper steps to integrate, but don't remove WordPress until it is confirmed you are fully integrated the other way. Secondly, inside the Site Speed tab, go to the caching app. Turn on the Ezoic caching app, which is also only available through Cloudflare or Name Server integration. This will enable Ezoic's CDN services. From here, you can clear the cache or clear the cache by URL. Ezoic's caching app will learn about your site, how people browse it, and how ads are delivered to them, even in remote locations, and will continuously learn better caching rules. If you just turned on the caching app, you will need to wait to see how it is performing. Give the caching app at least 24 hours. Once 24 hours has passed, you can see if you are receiving the full benefits of the caching app and how it is performing. Navigate to Big Data Analytics, click Site Speed, and then select Ezoic Caching. Set the date range only for days where the Ezoic Caching app is on. There are potentially three things to look at here. The first to look at is Cache Hit. This means that 59% of the time, Ezoic's caching app was utilized properly during caching. Secondly, if you have a cache off percentage, it usually means you are either looking at a date range before you had caching turned on, or the caching rules are being completely overwritten. This is usually because of a host. If you believe it may be your host, contact your host or login and see if there is a CDN enabled, advanced security settings, or a firewall, and if they can be turned off. Once these are turned off, Ezoic CDN should be able to cache your pages. Thirdly, we want to look at cache missed, which means Ezoic's caching isn't working on your site. This is due to some cache heading rules you may have in place from an outside provider that is preventing Ezoic's caching to work properly. The first thing to try is to update cache setting values. Firstly, set override cache control headers to true. This will override your current caching rules on your site, allowing Ezoic CDN to cache correctly. Next, you should set force caching by device type to true. Sometimes, Ezoic can't cache because you already have some device type caching set in place. This will override that. You can set ignore cache control, no cache to true if you want all of your pages cached. If you do not want all of your pages cached, in the caching app, you can specify which URLs you do not want cached. Lastly, enable caching for cookies ensures that all devices will experience the optimal caching setup. Often, plugins will have a setting you don't know is turned on that differentiates the caching rules by device type, which then causes the cache miss cache off to appear in this report. If you're still running into caching problems, it's usually due to a caching conflict between Ezoic and SiteSpeed or caching apps. Many external scripts or plugins that are designed to speed up a website implement mechanisms that prevent Ezoic from implementing the best practices even though the overrides are enabled. The most common have to do with Auto Optimize, Lightspeed Cache, and WP Rocket. These are all caching plugins, and the caching they do is often different from Ezoic's. Even though you may have set Ezoic to override cache control headings, it is worth it to go into these apps and change settings. For example, in WP Rocket, if any of the caching boxes are checked, it could be causing potential issues. So here, you would want to uncheck these boxes. Most tabs with checked boxes can be unchecked because Ezoic Site Speed Accelerator can duplicate most of the things you would want out of a caching or site speed plugin, so you won't need them anymore. We can see here in Auto Optimize, there are maybe settings like Optimize JavaScript Code, and it's going to aggregate all JS files into a way so that they are an auto optimized URL, which makes it so Ezoic actually can't cache those pages. To keep all of your settings but remove conflicts with the Ezoic caching app, simply deactivate the plugins. Once all the Ezoic caching app settings are set and plugin settings are changed or it is deactivated, give Ezoic 24 to 48 hours and then see if Ezoic is making your site faster. To begin using the Site Speed plugin, return to the Site Speed tab and select Turn Site Speed On. Next, you will need to select Create a Version. Choose Recommended Settings to start. Next, make sure to preview your version. Copy the preview URL and paste it into Chrome Incognito mode if you're logged into WordPress. Test the speed of the URL and PageSpeed Insights once the preview is ready. This can take 15 to 20 minutes in some extreme cases. Use the preview link to ensure ads, content, and images look normal and are displaying correctly before going live with the settings. 
Once you've ensured everything looks and operates correctly, return to the site speed dash and click Activate. Thank you.